Hi, y'all. Name's Wendell, and I am, in fact, a sexual addict. Hello, thanks for calling Mario's Pizza. This is Carlos speaking. Hello. We would like a large pie with uh, pepperoni, pineapple, and cheesy crust. Large pepperoni with pineapple and cheesy crust. We would also like a large pie with bacon, pineapple, and cheesy crust. Large bacon, pineapple with cheesy crust. OK, is that going to complete your order, sir? You know what? Let me gauge the room. Uh, guys, are we going to want another pizza? Let me just, who's hungry? Show of hands. Let me see them. One, two, three, keep them up. Four, five, six. Ah, uh, having a party. <laughs> yep, pretty big one, too. Come on, guys, keep them up. Hugo, Summer, hands, food. You know what? Let's play it safe. Let's get another pie. It's gonna be ham, pineapple. All right, ham. Oh, you guys are gonna need cheesy crust on the third? Good question. I'll gauge the room. Hey, guys, do we want cheesy crust on the third? OK, yeesh. That is a resounding yes for cheesy crust on the third. Claire says you read her mind. Claire, huh? I like that name. It's a good one. Oh, also, uh, my boy Andy over here is saying you have something called chicken poppers? Is she cute? Uh, who's that and what now? Claire. Oh. Her body's like a four. Anyway, we would also. Oh, how, how, how do you mean? <laughs> Let's just say she's kind of a big girl. That's all good. That's all superficial, man. I like Claire for what's inside. Don't even know Claire. Yo, but for real, though? I feel like I do know Claire, man. Put me on the phone with her. Uh, you don't need to speak to Claire. No, I do. You know what? I got a level with you, man. I her. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to get in between you guys. No. Quite all right. <laughs> Twas a while ago before she blimped up. My current girlfriend's Liv. Body tan, face tan. But anyway, Claire, yeah. I hit that sexually. And uh, as did my boy Hugo. Hell, even Bubba got some of that. So just wanted you to know, used goods, used goods. So you wouldn't care if I asked her out? Well, let me do it for you. Hey, Claire, this guy from the pizza place wants to date you too poor. All right, I'll let him down easy. Wait, 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 no. Tell her that no, I'm not a rich man. But I'm a good man. Tell her, Claire, I believe in destiny. And I believe that we've always known that our soulmate was out there. The moment that we had that unspoken connection about the cheesy crust, I realized that you were always the one. Because, and I know this sounds corny, but that moment was just like simple. Wow, you really do care about Claire. <laughs> I do. Oh my God, Claire just got shot. What? No. Oh, it just came through the window. It was a bullet. What? Hit her in the neck. Oh, Claire's down. She's dead. She's dead. I'm calling the cops. She's dead. Claire? No! Chinese it is. I wake up next to this guy, and as usual, I don't even know his name. I'm trying to get dressed quickly and get out of there before he wakes up, but I can't find my underwear. I look everywhere, but I just can't find them. And then it hits me. I had left them at another guy's apartment earlier that night. And that's when I knew I had a problem. Thanks for sharing this guy. Well, I noticed a lot of new faces 
this evening. And I'm so glad you all came. And I want you to know that this is a safe place to share. So if you want to tell us your story, there'll be no judgment. Sure, I'll go. Hi, y'all. Name's Wendell. And I am, in fact, a sexual addict. Hi, Wendell. Hi, Wendell. And what brings you here, Wendell? Well, you know, my life, sexually speaking, is crazy. And I just want to find one single, solitary person to spend the rest of my life with. Just one. Just one. So do you feel like your addiction is too much to handle right now? Duh. I mean, it's been crazy, y'all. With me, the nastier, the better. I'm a dirty dog. Try everything, all the fixings. It's tantric, much like Sting. All the bells and whistles, you name it, I've dunced it. And when would you say you hit rock bottom, Wendell? When it got slippery outside my shower, on the floor outside my shower. Oh. I hit rock bottom sexually. Probably last night. Last night. Do you think that you could tell us what happened, Wendell? Yeah, let's see. Uh, it's just like any other night. I had ordered a large pie, pepperoni, pineapple, cheesy crust, some cheesy bread on the side. I uh, cut to 30 men later. Pizza parlor sent over a delicious lady delivery person. Body tan, face tan. That's my weakness. So I invited her inside. Opened up the box, it was hot. Devoured the first slice, lickety split, crust first. Second slice didn't stand a chance. Ate the tip of that bitch first, washed it down with a pop. Then I got nasty with the cheesy bread. My heart started pounding harder than usual. Kerslunk, kerslunk. Moved on to the third slice. What, 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 what about the girl? What girl? Oh, the girl. Yeah, she was there too. I invited her into my boudoir, AKA the stabbing cabin. We disrobed one another. I touched her on her genitalia. She touched me on my manitalia and that's when I hit it. Sexually, of course. Upstairs, downstairs, all around the town stairs, as you do. And uh, by then, it was just another night. I mean, oil everywhere and sauce all over me. S sauce? Oh, yeah, that's my word for ejaculate. Anywho, I'm so uh, distraught because I, I feel vulnerable and I don't know, I just feel like anyone could take advantage of me right now. Any one. Okay, let's see what the blondes have to say first. Well, thank you, Wendell. Um, thank you for sharing. It's actually our time today. Hello, SkyMall Magazine. This is Riaz speaking. Hello, Riaz. I would like to report an item which I ordered that arrived broken. Wendell Sanders, Smoking Bud Lane. That's right. I am showing the last item that you've received is the Superman bed with the mattress of solitude. That's the one. Ordered it from my son for his birthday, but I cannot give it to him like this, and I'm pretty darn tootin' pissed about it. I'm really sorry, sir. I will start processing your reorder right now with you on the line, okay? I ain't mad at you, Riaz. It's just the system, I know. Okay, thank you for understanding, sir. Kids, eh? Huh? Oh. Ki well, yeah, I just got the one myself had sex with a woman and everything to get him. How long is this gonna- What is your son's name? Oh, uh, Stimpy. 
pretty much stimpy. I have boys too. I tell you, sometimes they can be a real couple of you know what. And ass. So you're preaching to the choir, Ria. Stimpy! Don't you give me that look. You're gonna get it when your mama comes home. Oh, my. Sounds like your wife is. Bitch on wheels. You got that straight, Ria. Hot little biscuit, though. Name's Claire. Body 10, face 10. So, pretty much hit that every night. Sexually. Anyway, what's holding up the- Oh, one more minute. <laughs> and uh, how old is your son? 15. 15? And he still wants a Superman bed? Ah, a late bloomer. <laughs> Enjoy it while you still can. He'll grow out of the toys any day now. They all do. And the second he starts hooking up with the girls, he'll forget all about that Superman and Spider-Man stuff. <laughs> Pretty much seems like how it would happen. Maybe then he'll stop bothering me with all those stupid little facts about how those characters you just named are clearly from two distinct and separate universes. Sadly, some people never move on. Sad? I got a better word for you, pathetic. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say. Hey, I call them locks, I see them, Riaz, and I don't tolerate nerds. In fact, let me nip this in the bud real quick. Stimpy! Stimpy, get back in here! I, well, I, I didn't mean to... There you are, with your round body and your creepy-ass face. No more sweets for you, because you're never going to get laid if you keep eating sweets. And another thing, all these figurines and toys you got around the house, we're throwing them in the trash because they're not real people, Stimpy. They're not real people. So stop being so lonely. Stop being so lonely. Well, and this is none of my business, of course, but I was wondering if your son would like to talk to someone. Oh, Stimpy just jumped out the window. Oh, my God. He killed himself. Why'd he do it? It must have been my fault. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I'm gonna call the cops. Don't you dare cancel that reorder. It's the only thing I'll have to remember him by. <laughs> There's a light and it shines within the darkness of the sands of time. The sands of time. There's a fight, but the battle to be won is with the man inside. The man inside. No of the seven seas. The seven seas. True desire. Let the music in your heart give way to the things that you believe. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. <laughs>